wouldn't it be great if I could use my iPad as an external display? And the great thing is that most of the newer iPads, yes, you can. Super easy to do. And the great thing is that it's not just an external screen. When you have an application open and it's on the iPad screen as an external monitor, if you have Microsoft Word open or you've got the Photos app open, you can actually tap on the screen in specific areas and actually control it instead of using your mouse or your keyboard on your Mac. So we are connected here into my iPad. This is a iPad Air and we're gonna be connecting this as an external monitor on a MacBook Pro. Hey, why don't you let me know in the comments below whether you are running an iPad, an iPad Pro, an iPad Air, whether you're running a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, or another Mac computer to be able to do this particular demo. Let me know in the comments below. So an iPad Air with our MacBook Pro. Now you wanna make sure that the Bluetooth is on. We're gonna select Bluetooth, and you wanna make sure that it's turned on and that it says now discoverable. So from our Mac, we're gonna open up the system preferences area. We're gonna be looking for this little icon here called sidecar. Okay, next to the display and next to the battery, you've got sidecar. We're gonna select that. Connect to select device. You will see that Emilio's iPad is listed right there. Now, if your iPad does not show up in here, you may wanna to toggle Bluetooth on and off. You could also reboot your iPad. Other things that may work is by connecting your iPad directly with its USB-C or lightning cable into your Mac. Try all of that and then you should hopefully see your iPad listed. So let's select our iPad. So here is my iPad with a mouse pointed and that is absolutely brilliant. I can actually just go and navigate through all of this exactly the same way that I can as if my Mac is physically connected to another external display, but it's just my iPad. And you can see just how easy it is to be able to move your windows between all of your external monitors, including the iPad. You'll also notice that on the very far left, you've got all these little icons. So I've got certain commands. I've also got a keyboard that I can actually put on and off, move the keyboard around. And I've also got some further settings right there. Within our settings, you can also adjust where the sidebar should go, whether if it's on the left or to the right. And also that touch bar that we saw on the bottom, you can actually put it on the bottom or on the top. You can also go into the displays area, select arrangement. I've got three displays listed, my very large Samsung display, my MacBook Pro screen, and also my iPad to the left. So I can adjust these, I can move these around as I need to. So do let me know whether this worked for you. Let me know what Mac model you've got, what iPad model you've got, and whether this was successful. Who would have thought that, that awesome feature would be available to you, and it is, and I use it all the time and it's absolutely great. Do what you do in the socials by liking and subscribing, clicking on my face over there, and do also check out some of my other videos on this channel where we talk about all things tech.